Hello and thank you for joining us as we continue to talk about cardiovascular disease and in this segment we're going to talk about viscosity or blood thickness or the way the blood uh, can, can aggregate and gluconate. So here's our, our blood vessel wall okay, and we have a thickening here in the blood vessel walls we've been talking about and then we're going to talk about how it, blood can become inside the blood vessel walls, if you will, uh, viscous and hard for it to travel and so it makes it harder as you think of the heart here we have a little we have our diagram here of the heart and the heart's pumping the heart has to pump harder it has to pump harder and work harder to move the thick blood through so today's modern world's answer for that is okay people take an aspirin however even though aspirin does help with the thinning of the blood and can help people during uh, clots but it also can cause damage to, to the intestinal wall. So for a prevention case, not the best way to go because aspirin can cause in, intestinal bleeding. And so people that take aspirin every day, all day long as a preventative, it, it can cause intestinal bleeding. There are better ways for us to deal with viscosity using enzymes like we talked about before, uh, like the Baluchi lumbrokinase, uh, nanokinase, streptokinase, all these various enzymes you'll see that we'll be talking about in a bit that help with viscosity of the blood. But in addition to viscosity of the blood, each uh, factor can play an important role. Not only the thickening of the blood vessel wall and the fibrin that builds up because of the genetic blood clotting factors. We have so many clotting deficiencies in our blood that are micro-clotting factors that can cause fibrin to be laid out and cause thicker viscosity of the blood. So we want to also strip and remove that fibrin and those enzymes help us to do that where aspirin does not work at that level, okay? The other thing is each blood cell, when they start to stick to each other, this is called a roulette formation, okay? It means the blood is sticking to each other. Imagine these blood cells as we've shown here inside a blood vessel, they're sticking to each other. How do we unstick, if you will, the blood and improve it? Well, there's a number of things we do. Obviously, dietary health plays an important role. Hydration plays an important role. Decreasing unhealthy dietary fats. It plays an important role, but also infection plays a critical role as we look at things like mycotoxins, viruses, um, you know, various uh, uh, bacterial infections like chlamydia. So what we want to do is we want to improve immune function as a part of improving viscosity and blood flow. So here we have it, viscosity, very important. How hard is it your heart is pumping? to have to move those red blood cells through. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you the tools you need to improve that blood flow, make it smooth, without using things like aspirin that can cause an ulceration into your, into your stomach and, and internal bleeds. And there are better ways for us to help you. Thank you for joining us at the Invita Whiteboard as we continue cardiovascular disease. Step